Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, and Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders. Wa'akim wa'akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of this recent news article. You know, of the uh, wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation, especially, you know, the ongoing back and forth rising tensions been increasing between Russia and uh, NATO as of lately. And this is a uh, news article from RT.com as of May the 28th, 2024. And this is a uh, rumor, a rumor of war. Like the scriptures have stated, there in the last day is going to be a wars and rumors of wars. So I just want to add a note to that. And this reads, uh, NATO training for nuclear strike on Russia, according to the general. The U.S.-led bloc posed a military threat to the country. The head of the Border Guard Service has warned. It says NATO nations are preparing for a possible nuclear strike on Russia. A senior Moscow general has warned. Vladimir Kolishkov the first uh, deputy director of Russian Federal uh, Security Service in the head of the country's border guard service outlines threat that is the branch has to deal with in an interview the RIA Novosti NATO uh, intelligence operations close to the Russian border are on the rise forces of the alliance are intensifying military training in which they work out military scenarios against Russian federations, including the nuclear strikes on our territory, he told the news agencies on Tuesday. Russian officials have previously criticized NATO's nuclear sharing scheme under which some American weapons are stored in non-nuclear nations, including Belgium, Germany, Italy, uh, Netherlands, and Turkey. Moscow has particularly concerned that non-host nations are involved in the uh, training exercise on how to deploy the weapons. In January 2022, weeks before the Ukrainian conflict escalated into open hostilities, Vladimir Omos, Omos Karl, the head of the uh, non-proliferation department of the Russian foreign minister said in an interview, that Moscow views the U.S.-led bloc moves as being directly targeted against the country. Russia has blamed NATO expansions, Europe, and its increasing presence in the Ukraine for ongoing crisis, which was considered a part of the U.S.-led proxy war against us. The, the military support which Washington and its allies has provided to Kyiv may result in an unchecked escalation in a direct war with Russia which is likely to result in a nuclear exchange officials Moscow has warned. Uh, President Vladimir Putin ordered a drill earlier this month to test Russia's ability to use non-strategic nuclear weapons. The move was described as a reaction to hostile statements by the West. It says nations that dominate long-range weapons to COVID are currently considering a lifting restrictions on their use against targets uh, located what it recognized as Russian territory. The British Foreign Minister David Cameron has claimed that Kavi has the right to deliver such strike with arms and get from the UK. It says the Russian exercise is being conducted jointly with Belarus. Moscow decided last year to store part of its arsenal on Belarusian territory, saying it was necessary to counterbalance NATO's scheme and amending rising tensions. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a uh, prophet Joel 3 and verse 9. But claim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. So, with that, hopefully, this uh, sit down lesson was edifying of the ongoing back and forth rising tensions and rumors of wars between the different nations of uh, Russia versus NATO is heating up as of lately. And this is a uh, recent news article from RT.com. Even though this is a rumor of war, 
As of May the 28th, 2024, and he reads, NATO training for nuclear strike on Russia. The U.S. bloc posed a military threat to the country. The head of the Border Guard Service has warned. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down less was edifying of this recent news article. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem HaKadosh. And Barakatham to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. Till next time, I will say Shalom.